First of all, single span B is completely flat here. And you see single span A is retracing right now, right? Retracing. And also, you see Kijun Sen is going up now. Kijun Sen is going up now. And you saw the gold cross here. You saw the gold cross. So, this is actually the end of the trend already, right? The downtrend already ended by this cross, technically. And after that, it became upwards, right? The market keeps going upwards. So, uh, what might happen next is going to be the Kumo will be twisting, right? If single span A keeps going up this way, then it will twist uh, to bullish Kumo. And that's something that we can expect. And this is really the end of this downtrend in long term too. So we have to wait for the next trend, either moving up or down. Um, so yeah, yeah, that trend has been switched it, right? The trend has been switched now. So in this Euro USD, this is horizontal. I mean, this is retracing right now and it's the end of the trend. So I will take this one out from my watch list, right? So you get the difference, right? You get the difference now, right? Um, last Sunday, until this Tuesday, the Kumo was moving down, Senko Span A was still moving down, and Kijun Sen was still moving down. But now it has been gold cross, right? Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen has been gold cross, and Kijun Sen itself is moving up now. So this is the end of the downtrend already. So you cannot look for the sell in this case, right? So this is a major difference and you can easily capture the difference by looking at this Kumo and Kijun Sen, first of all. <clears throat> so in short term, this is uptrend, right? Uh, in short term, in a smaller time frame, this seem, looks to be bullish. So we'll see if the price is going to be breaking this Kumo upwards or not. And if it does, then yeah, th that will be another confirmation for this uh, uptrend to be persistent still to the upside. All right, hi Daxkal and Kevon, thank you for joining. Good to see you and Long, good to see you again. All right, it's almost from Sanyaku Koten in Euro Data. Just wait, candle break of the Kumo. Exactly, exactly. So if the candlestick breaks the Kumo upwards, then it's going to be Sanyaku and signal right and the price might keep going upwards so we will see if the price is going to be breaking this upper line right which is single span b to be breaking upwards or not here all right hi maru thank you for joining all right good to see you again all right all right little alligator thank you for joining as well and andrew good to see you all right why is it called gold, gold cross? You mean uh, this uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen? It's gold cross, yeah. It's gold cross. Yeah, because, uh, you know, Tenkan Sen is shorter period and Kijun Sen is longer period, right? So whenever you see the shorter period breaks the longer period of indicator upwards, this is gold cross, right? So in that sense, we can say that when you look at this, um, when you look at this, Chikou span here, right? Uh, Chikou span broke this candlestick upwards, and this is the gold cross too, right? Chikou span gold cross this candlestick upward too. And finally, the candlestick may cross this Senko span A, uh, sorry, Senko span B upwards, and it's going to be Sanyaku Koten signal here in four hour chart. So this is one, this is a second signal. And this one, the uh, Kumo breakout, will be the third signal. So we'll see if this is going to be happening or not. Right? And also, one, one more thing that I've just noticed is that if the Kumo, if the price breaks the Kumo upwards, that means that the price is breaking the Kumo, where it's relatively thicker here, right? The candlestick breaks the Kumo, where it's relatively thick here. So, 
after you see the breakout, right, it might be keep going upward this way, technically. Because usually uh, the candlestick breaks the Kumo where it's thin, right, where it's thin. So like here, right, uh, the candlestick broke the Kumo where it's thin, but right now the Kumo is about to break out the uh, sorry, the candlestick is about to break out the Kumo where it's relatively thicker here. So when it really breaks it out upwards, this, is, this might be the beginning of the new uptrend to this way. So exactly which part of the Kumo, right, the candlestick is about to break or not is also very important information uh, when you look at this uh, Sanyaku uh, Koten or Gyakuten signal. So, yeah, we'll see on that too. So, but, right, um, because Kumo works as a resistance too, the price might go backwards too, right? There will be a scenario that the price might be resisted by this Kumo and it goes backwards to the downside here. But with, if, it, if it breaks upwards, then this might be a great uh, strong breakout because basically the market broke the Kumo where it's relatively thicker here so it might keep going upwards afterwards okay so the same situation right this is the same situation here let me just uh, take the Ichimoku only here so this is more clear too right Senko span A is retracing and the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen just gold crossed here right Tenkan Sen broke this Kijun Sen upwards and Kijun Sen itself is now going up. And Chikou Span broke the candlestick upwards too. So now this is also the end of the downtrend. So we cannot look for the sell in this case. Right? We cannot look for the sell. You have to switch your mindset here. And until you see the Kumo breakout to the upside, you better wait basically. Better you better wait basically, right? And soon, right after the candlestick breakouts the Kumo upwards, then this uh, Kumo should be twisted to the up Kumo, right? And then finally you start to look for the buy chance. And uh, yeah, again, right, uh, the candlestick is going into the Kumo where it's relatively thick here, right? The Kumo is thick part and the candlestick is kind of, you know, trying to, you know, dig, dig it to the upside. So whenever you see the market is kind of uh, you know going upwards or downwards within the Kumo where it's relatively thick like this after the breakout it might be a serious uptrend like uh, like a, in this inside example right here uh, it was breaking it downwards where it's thin and before it was breaking out right upwards where it's thin too right so these like these breakouts were not really significant but this one right if the price keeps going up this way and if it breaks it upwards where the kumo is thicker here this is very significant too right so we will be watching on that this week and also next week so you're talking about this v, v wave here this is a big v wave right so yeah this was a v wave and when you when you see this as a V wave, you have to count the candles in between. So let's take a daily chart and let's just check the interval here, right? So you take the very top candlestick and you take the next very top candlestick and you check, you just count the candlesticks in between. So from here, starting from here, this was 26 bars, right? In between. So from this candlestick and this candlestick right here, in between there were 26 candles. And you know 26 is one of the Kihon Suchi numbers, right? 26. And when you look this, right, when you notice this, then just go back 26 backwards and see if you see the previous high in 26 backwards right so let's take let's take this candlestick and go back 26 backwards and see what we what you find right 24 25 26 is going to be on this candlestick right here so this is relatively closer right this is pretty close to 
the recent high, which is here. Right, so there was another 26 cycle in the past too. This was 26 cycle, right? So from this high to the next high was 26, right? And also from this high to the next high was 26 as well. So now we see pattern, right? We see pattern here, 26 cycle, right? And just in case, just going back from here, 26 backwards, right? Let me just count from here to 26 backwards is going to be like here. So we don't see anything, right? Uh, there was no recent high. The recent high was either this one or this one, but it was lower part here. So yeah, as a result, right from this high right here, the next high was 26 candles and next high was 26 candles. So most likely, right, we can conclude that we can actually put the interval for the next 26 candles in the future like this. 26 bars in the future and um, you you can expect in this interval right on this day of uh, April 18th the market might mark the next high like this way so hold on sorry however the market moves like this way the market might mark the next high here exactly on this day or it might go like a hundred percent retracement to the downside on this day right we never know but uh, this will be one of the things that you can forecast but before forecasting this you have to be able to find a pattern right you cannot just take this 26 and expect the next 26 cycle it has to go backwards and you have to have some kind of confirmation in the back too so when you find this as a 26 cycle just go back and whether you see the another 26 cycle or not. And if you see 26 cycles in the back too, then you can forecast that in the next 26 candles in the future, right, uh, the market might mark the recent high or low or to the middle, right? Or depending on the, uh, depending on the, uh, the price theory, you can actually place the, uh, the target too in that way. But yeah, when it comes to like uh, looking for the cycles, uh, it has to be consecutive, right? You cannot just take one 26 cycle and expect the future. It has to be consecutive, right? So just to remember that. All right, and sometimes there are jugi, right? And there, there's, there are kakugi too. So you can actually take those jugi or kakugi into considerations when you count these uh, time cycles. Before ending this video, let me share one of my tweets. Earlier I tweeted like this. You won't be wealthy if you are buying a lottery, working hard for a company, having education loans, looking for advice at bank, or studying for certificates. These are some of the traits of those who cannot accumulate wealth because they are putting their effort on the wrong things. What I mean by wrong is whether you get the return or not or how much return you can possibly get later in the future. So if you want to invest your money and time, invest on the right thing where you can expect the return the most because we are all limited in terms of money and time. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I do the next live or upload a new video. I wish you a great success on your trade journey and see you on the next live or a video. Thank you for your continued support as always and stay gold. Mata ne!